Hey, I'm Dr. Laura Conover, and today I want to tell you one of the ways that grounding helps boost our longevity, and that is by protecting your stem cells. As we age, we have a reservation of stem cells in our muscles and in our bones. So in our bone marrow and in our muscles, that's where we have all these stem cells that are waiting to boost our body's regenerative capacity. So as we age, when we have natural age-related muscle loss called sarcopenia, our muscle volume decreases, muscle inflammation increases, and stem cell reserve is threatened. And same with our bones as we age and we get osteoporosis, osteopenia, we are threatening to the protection of where our stem cells are located. We know from many years of double-blinded, placebo-based, gold standard medical studies that grounding decreases inflammation in the muscles, grounding p- protects muscle mass, decreases damage, muscle damage after uh, exertion, and it also boosts the rate of repair. So your muscles actually are less sore and they recover more quickly. And these are many double-blinded placebo-based studies looking at lots of different different exercises from uh, cardiovascular challenge on a treadmill to um, lifting weights to exhaustion to doing holding extended yoga poses lots of different studies have shown that grounding both during exertion and also even if it's not while you're exerting yourself but afterwards in recovery both of those help repair our muscles and protect our muscle volume and protect our muscle integrity. So that's a very important, that is directly correlated with our stem cell reserve. And that's a very important way that as we age, if we keep grounding, we'll help protect our muscles and boost our stem cell reserve. And the same with our bones. So grounding has been shown to decrease the amount of minerals that are leached out of our bones. And so we need longer term studies, but we have short term studies showing overnight your bone density is protected because less minerals are taken out of your bones as you're sleeping if you're sleeping grounded. Another really important way that grounding protects our stem cell reserve is by preserving our circadian rhythm. Yes, the sun has an impact on our circadian rhythm because it regulates melatonin, but the earth itself directly regulates our cortisol. And by regulating our cortisol, it is also a very important key in this circadian rhythm. If you have high cortisol at night, you cannot get deep restorative sleep, no matter how much melatonin you take and no matter how much sun exposure you had. And there are lots of medical studies dating back to the 1970s showing that connecting to the earth and being in the earth's electrical field restores our circadian rhythm, protects our circadian rhythm, rhythm. And then there's more recent studies showing that sleeping grounded completely normalizes our cortisol levels. So grounding to the earth is what keeps our body in this normal cortisol pattern. And cortisol is our stress fight and flight uh, hormone. And so it accelerates aging and high cortisol has been shown to damage and destroy our stem cell reserves. So by protecting our sleep, normalizing cortisol, protecting our muscle mass and protecting our bones, grounding is primed to protect our stem cells and make sure we are healthy and able to rejuvenate our tissues as we age and therefore prolonging longevity. Again, we need lots more studies on this. It's hard to get grounding studies. There's no funding for grounding studies because it's freely available. If you want to start your own practice of grounding, that's what my website is all about. I have a free guide. You can download it anytime to jumpstart your journey. It's just 10 days, 10 minutes a day, how you can implement grounding so that you notice results that quickly. You can feel better than you do right now. And those results can add up to a lifetime of protection, especially when we're talking about our stem cell reserve, which means our body has a boosted ability to repair, recover, and renew.